What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm E-Bike Builder and I like to do e-bike things. So make sure you like and subscribe if you're into that. So in this video, I wanna talk about um, Bafang, something that Bafang announced last year in 2024. So Bafang, they're like the big Chinese e-bike motor manufacturing company, right? And they're supposed to be building these new internally geared hubs and so these, like with an internally geared hub, um, the gears are inside of the hub of the wheel, right? And then usually you've got like a cable or something where you, your shifter connects to the hub. It goes into the hub instead of to your shifter, right? So then the shifting happens inside of the hub. And then, so it's it's nicer than a derailleur because you don't have the you don't need to have your chain like moving around and stuff because the derailleur moves, and you don't have a bunch of gears. You don't have a cassette. The chain just stays in one spot. It's usually a belt, right? Like when you have an internally geared hub, then you don't need a chain, right? And you can just have a, a one straight belt, and then the shifting happens inside of the hub, and the belt just keeps on cranking. Right? And then that gearing changes inside of the internally geared hub instead of your derailleur. And so last year, Bafang unveiled game changing technology. I guess they're calling it GVT technology or something. Let's go, let's go see here. Um, where was it? So I found this somewhere on the internet. We're going to look at it. Let's see here. Let's move it out of the way here. Let's go over here. Let's get this out of the way, bubs. All right. Get all these things out of the way. So here's the here's the document that I found. It says Bafang presents revolutionary gear variable transmission (GVT) technology platform and new five-speed automatic gear hub. Spearheading a new era for the shifting experience, Bafang proudly introduces its innovative gear variable transmission technology platform, along with its latest creation based on GVT, the G500A. So I guess this is what it's called, like the Bafang model number or something? I don't know. So it says, the G500A is an internal 5-speed automatic shift hub designed for high-powered fat e-bikes. Offering a groundbreaking shift experience for e-bikes, G500A will debut at the 2024 China Cycle Show. So this is fairly recently. So expanding cycling boundaries with the revolutionary GVT technology platform. GVT represents years of meticulous research and development by Bafang. This technology elevates the e-bike shifting experience to a new level with precise automatic, precise automatic shifting mechanisms and advanced transmission control, creating seamless and smooth gear changes that aligns the rider e-bike in one, <laughs> whatever that means, turning what was once merely a concept into reality. Products featuring GVT technology are belt drive friendly and offer a high degree of integration enabling greater design possibilities of e-bike. Moreover, GVT significantly reduces common maintenance issues and durability concerns found in existing shift systems. It's yet another step towards extending the overall lifespan of e-bikes. <laughs> it's hard to read some of these, these sentences. Over the past three years, we have launched the automatic hub motor and automatic gear hub series. What? both of which have received positive feedback from various markets. We are very proud and honored, said Zhu Bin, the chief engineer of the Bafang GVT. We're going to have to look this guy up. Zhu Bin? Who's that? I don't know if that's him. Who is that? I want to know who it is. I want to know the chief engineer of this thing. Is it? I don't know. If if you know that guy, shout out to Zubin. 
Um, he's the chief engineer. Uh, let's see here. Regarding the GVT technology platform in the future, we will further interpret it through more innovations. Okay, so here you got some pictures. Finally. We've got some pictures here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, there they are. Pretty cool. G500A right there. So it seems like it's probably 175 millimeter spacing on the dro uh, dropout spacing on that bulb, and that's made for a disc break, obviously. So what is all this stuff? What is this? Are they making hub motors, or they've got like gears inside of them that ch that like change gears now? What are these things? These other things, the H720, what is that thing? That thing looks crazy. So the, the G500A, the internal geared hub, is up here on the top. And then I think, so I think the 500A, that's the big guy with five gears. And I think it's strong. Like, I think it can do like 200 newton meters of torque or something. So this thing could handle a BBS HD. And that's one of the challenges with when you want to use an internal geared hub with a mid drive is a lot of them can't handle the torque of a mid drive a lot of internally geared hubs they're designed just for like normal bicycles or whatever right there's like there's like roll offs and different there's a few different kinds of internally geared hubs that you can get i think there's like a shimano one but you got to be careful with mid drives when you're using the internally geared hubs because they can't handle the torque. So this is kind of interesting. So there's a G500A, that's the five speed one. And then there's a G300A. It looks like that one must be for like a normal sized bike, you know, like 138 millimeter dropouts or whatever. And then the G500A has five gears and it's for like a fat bike, 175. <clears throat> G300A has three gears. I don't know if I mentioned that, but then so there's these other things, H720, like that looks like a hub motor, or what is that? Are these all? Because I think these ones that have the G in front of them, like G500A and G300A, I think those are the gear hubs. And I'm pretty sure that these other things here on the bottom look like motors. So maybe they're making hub motors now that have some kind of like gearing inside of them or i don't know let's keep going here what does it say let's zoom it out a little bit um let's get me back down here so it says g500a is a five speed automatic gear hub cra specifically crafted for high po high powered fat tire e-bikes Designed to effectively tackle challenging terrains like snow and sand, it can withstand torque ratings of up to 200 newton meters. Significantly reduces the impact and damage to the chain and freewheel caused by high torque. G500 could support high speeds of 45 kilometers an hour. I think that's 28 miles an hour and 60 kilometers an hour. So what is that like 35 miles an hour? It's available in 175 and 190 dropout options. Nice. Fang's commitment to quality and reliability is reflected in its rigorous testing standards. Each of the five gears in the G500A undergoes at least 10,000 impact tests, ensuring durability and rider confidence. Cool. Look at this. It says, with the introduction of the GVT technology platform, Bafang aims to pursue a higher benchmark for drive system reliability and durability. As the GVT platform continues to evolve, Bafang will continue to introduce more groundbreaking products, underscoring its commitment to a higher technolo technological <laughs> standards. 
and superior user experiences. I've barely drank any coffee today, boys, and my brain can't read yet. Hey, here's the media contact. How do you say that? Water? Is their name Water? Water Q. I want to call. I'm gonna should I call this number. I'm gonna be like, sell me the G500, bub. I'm gonna email them and call them. What's going on down here? This is. This is just about the thing. They have a newly opened plant in Poland that focuses on the production of mid-motor systems for the European markets. That's pretty crazy, bubs. Derailer. And protruding cassette also means that the gear shifting mechanisms within the hub are virtually indestructible. This is an important detail. They aren't exposed to the elements you can expect an internal gear hub to do its job for hundreds or even thousands of miles without requiring maintenance. I would hope it could go 100 miles without maintenance. Alright, well, I guess that... I guess you could possibly find these things on... It seems like you potentially find these things on AliExpress already, but that good one's expensive. Six like six hundred dollars for that thing. That one was crazy, bubs. Where was that? Right here. Did they have a bunch of stuff down here as well? There's not as much information on this listing. It's interesting, very interesting, a little bit expensive. I think when you get a BBS HD on 72 volts, it's more than 200 newton meters of torque. So I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if I want to be the guy to try this thing out and see what it's capable of. It's, it's a little bit expensive for me to be. Um breaking but it's an interesting technology that I'm very excited about and hopefully it comes becomes more widely available and a little bit less expensive and I think that this could be a great thing for e-bikes so thanks for watching guys like and subscribe let me know what do you think about this Bafang G500A and also the Bafang G300A these automatic gear hubs, that's crazy. I didn't realize that they shifted automatically just based on like how fast it's spinning. That's really cool. That seems like it's even better than like the Pinion smart shift system because the Pinion, that thing has to be connected to your, I think it's connected to like your controller and stuff. It's connected to electricity. So the Pinion, that's kind of like an electronic thing. I think it has a battery where, like, if the bike battery goes dead, like, the pinion thing can still shift, like, on a backup battery or something. But this thing is just designed so that it automatically shifts. It doesn't need, like, some software telling it when to shift. There's just... It seems like it just shifts. I don't know. So I wonder what would happen if, I wonder what would happen if you were just like jamming it with the mid drive and it was like shifting and stuff. It's kind of an interesting, interesting thing. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Let me know if you're gonna take a chance and order one of these things on AliExpress. I mean, it, it seems like it, you could potentially, if you just got a bunch of money laying around and you're not, you're, um. And you're not very risk averse. You could just what does it weigh? Three point seven kilograms. So it's got thirty six spokes, twelve gauge. Yeah, interesting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace out.